Welcome back, guys and gals, to more Max Payne. Think about that for a second there. And today we continue our journey through this lovely hotel. What the hell? And wouldn't you know it, there are more dudes to fight. Who would have seen that coming? Ah! Damn it, don't you shoot me! At least I have more HP than he does. I wonder if we're ever going to get body armor or anything like that. It would be kind of nice to get a health upgrade. I don't think we do, though. Yeah, I know I said it last video, but I do like all the things that you can interact with. That being the vibrating bed thing. Just one of a few new things we'll find to interact with as we go throughout this game. I mean, they don't really help you in any way, but it's kind of cool that they throw some of those little details in there. So, how y'all been? How y'all doing? I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Mine was decent enough. I suppose. Previously, on Lord this is kind of funny. Lady Amelia, Marquis Valentine asks for an audience. Thank you, Lawrence. My lady. My lord. And now, an all new episode of Lords and Ladies, brought to you in part by Acer Corporation. Hey, health items. Always take that. My lady. My lord. My lady, there is a matter of great importance I must bring to your attention. My lord, there is? Indeed, my lady, there is indeed. From the very first moment we met, upon that distant forest path, there has been sunlight in the autumn leaves blazing like the colors of your hair. Oh, my lord, you should not speak so. But my lady, I must, I must. My what lord, the hell? I you this, oh. this must not be. But why? Hey. Mmm, that sounds hot. I mean, disgusting. Of course disgusting. Not at all hot. We do not support incest on this channel. Hey, look at that. So I think of incest. That's right, damn show. Fuck you, Coke Machine. You supported it. You were there. Damn devices and they're supporting incest. Sweet, young love between a brother and sister. Wait, what? What were we talking about? I, I forgot. Uh, anyways, anyways, so running around shooting dudes and breaking shit. There he is! Oh crap. Right, that's what we're doing. Forgot. Got lost in my own thoughts there for a second. I don't know why that is. Oh crap, wrong way. Wrong way. I suck! And shotgun is probably not the best weapon for this. It's the long distance part of that. That'll work. Yeah, fuck you. Snack machine. Damn it, game! That's not the sound that a candy bar makes when it comes out of there. It looks like a snack machine. Should make a different sound than a Coke machine. I already went that way. Fucking game. <sighs> Can't even come up with one measly additional sound effect. The fuck. Dude, why are you just hanging out in there with your door open? I mean, if it's your room, then shouldn't your door be shut? And you wouldn't be dead right now. on this one. Static. Maybe TV? That's what I think of you and your static. Can't be having that. Yes, this is Blind Man SG-1's angst-filled video. That's right. Right. So, apparently you gotta do that to get the door open. I walked around for about eight minutes looking around. Trying to figure out where the hell to go. And I looked on somebody's video and they didn't do that, but Piece they still made... <laughs> oh, careful. It might kick back. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Killer vending machine. You talking to me? Oh, 
<laughs> Tough guy. Scared. Damn it. That was bad timing on my part. Die. I saw somebody's video and they went through that door, but I didn't notice that they shot the lock off. So I'm not really sure how you're supposed to get in there, but shooting it off worked for me. Actually, shooting it off always works for me. Now see, that's where that sound goes. There. That's where that goes. That sounds more like a Coke can dropping it out. Don't use that sound for bags of chips or candy bars. Bags of cookies. So that little thing took me quite some time to figure out. That was pretty annoying. I didn't even see a lock there. I just knew the door was locked. Tonight, the city's fight against the nightmare drug Valkyr took a turn for the worse as DEA Special Agent Alex Balder was found brutally slain at the Roscoe Street subway station. A suspect was seen leaving the site only moments after the shots had been fired, and the NYPD is currently in pursuit of Max Payne, a repeated felon believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. And now the weather. The worst winter storm in recorded history continues to pound the city. I'm guessing that's the full broadcast that we're hearing bits of. Not really sure, don't really care all that much. Not really sure why that broadcast was on there, I guess, except to tell us that we're probably going to have cops chasing us in a while. So that should be fun, because I'm guessing we can't kill the cops, which would make sense. They're the good guys, we're not supposed to kill them. Unless you're a criminal, and then they probably are the bad guys. But then again, you really shouldn't be committing crimes, and then you won't have to worry about that. So, don't commit crimes. Public service message from me to you. Oh yeah. Golden shower jokes, public service announcements, silly comments, bad gameplay, some preaching. It's what I do. Anyways, speaking of which, so a friend of mine has a friend who lives in another town. I've met him a few times when he's visited. And this dude is a gay guy. And I say that just to kind of set up this story. So she texted me today and told me the story about him. And I've met the guy before. He doesn't seem like a bad guy or anything like that. Oh, God. These guys are creepy. You've not seen these. I saw one of these guys when I was walking around lost trying to figure out how to deal with that fucking door that was locked. Yeah, Max made a comment about the junkies and not trusting them because they could go off and start attacking you. I'm not going to waste a shotgun shell on him, but I should probably... Well, that sound is a creepier sound than anything I've come across in any modern supposed horror game. That is just creepy. Fucking hell. And we don't really see that as many bodies, but yeah, there's blood everywhere there. Jesus. So, this guy had apparently hooked up with another guy. And they were doing their thing in the middle of their encounter, as my friend called it, as she texted me the story. When apparently this guy had said to my friend's friend, do you want my penis? Or at least that's what he thought, he said. Well, turns out that is not what he said. So my friend's friend said yes. And then it turns out he actually asked, do you want my pee? So you can imagine what happened. And when I read that story at work, because I was unfortunate enough to have to work on the day after Thanksgiving, because fuck me, apparently. Although at least I don't have to deal with all the bullshit that people who work retail do. I guess I talked over Max, but I'm well.
trying to figure out where the hell to go right now. I actually have no idea. I found Muerte's room. Oh no, I didn't talk over him. Sweet. Right, so I just walked around a little bit and found those health items and figured I'd show you where they are. It's They're just right back over here. Oh god. Alright, how are we going to tackle this problem? With shotgun shells, of course. Where they received a letter. And bullet time, apparently. Because why not? I don't mind the bullet time, though. It's kind of cool. And hey, we actually get some music. It's kind of silly, but we still get some music. I'm always appreciative. Health items. Don't mind if I do. Just looking around before we go check out this ladder. Our investigation had turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself. It was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. And we need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. Well, Max... Wasn't really anything else you could do. I mean, when people start shooting at you, what are you going to do? So, I believe I'm going to have another look around this room before we leave. Yeah, okay. I guess that was it. Yeah, let's try to figure out where to go. I swear these all look like doors. Probably because they are, they're probably locked. Yeah, so that guy got peed on. I don't know if it was in his face, it probably was, but that was fucking hilarious. I'm sitting there at work, at my desk, it's really quiet because a lot of people weren't there. And I'm just busting out laughing, like I could not help it. Yeah, I guess that's his dead body or something, I don't really know. Walk through by blind man, what do you want? And I'm not quite sure what I'm looking for here. But eventually, we are going to leave this room and actually do shit. Mainly just kill other dudes, but that's bad. It's something. That's bad. You think? Yeah. I don't know why I try to use stealth in this. Stealth is not an option in this game. I guess it kind of helped me there, but still. Stealth really is not a thing in this game. It would be kind of cool if it was, because then it would be a little more siphon filter, but... Nope, that's not what we got going here. I need to stop doing that. It's a run and gun game. It's what we do. Yeah, I couldn't help it. I usually could kind of keep myself pretty well in check, but when I read that story, I could not help but bust out laughing. <laughs> And then proceed to tell two of my coworkers that story. <laughs> and they were both disgusted and amused. I was actually just hey. amused. I mean, I admit the story is disgusting. God damn! I thought it was a bomb for sure. Nah, the Russian wouldn't dare. This has been waiting to happen. <laughs> I thought it was a bomb. Hey, uh... That's all you're gonna say is heya? I guess we got one of them. Yeah, I'm wasting grenades here, but they're weapons I don't know that I should have now, unless I could have got them at some point. So I don't really care. Like, I kind of want to use some of these weapons that maybe I shouldn't have and use them up. That way maybe they'll disappear, but I don't know if they will or not, or if they'll just stay there, but it'd be out of ammo. Not sure how that works. Since I do have that all weapons cheat on. Or at least I did to start last video. 
I am going through the shotgun ammo, though. So it really would not hurt to... Well, actually, it would hurt me to switch to another weapon. I think the radius of this shotgun shells... ...helps my bad aim a lot. Yeah, I shoot that guy off screen, just so you know. I'm about to get really, really lost. I'm already kind of lost as it is. But I'm going to get even more lost. And... Oh, I guess the grenade blew that up. Okay. Poor Coke machine. It didn't do anything to anybody. It just stood there offering sodas for people who wanted to pay $1.25 for a single can of soda. The hooker had left her diary on the table. But the price, that's not the Coke machine's fault. It didn't set those prices. I mourn you, Coke machine. You were a good soldier. The diary belonged to a hooker named Candy Dawn. The read would have made a vice cop blush. Had talks with the mystery hag over the phone again. Sent to the latest one-eyed Alfred tape. As long as the hag keeps paying for the tapes, the old man could come every day for all I care. She had a nice sideline, making secret X-rated flicks of her clients and selling them to the highest bidder. They would get her killed if her V-fix for the day didn't do it first. Well, there you go. And there you go. Blurry, scantily clad ladies. Oh yeah. That poor Coke machine died before its time. Yeah, so there's apparently a secret passage over here that I opened. I walked around forever looking for this, and that's why you didn't see me open it. I was lost for about the same amount of time I was lost with that door with that, the shotgun, the lock. On. <sighs> Looks like another picture of a, another scantily clad lady. Glorious fuck, so I don't know what that is. Why they would have a secret room there, I don't know. Although I guess it's not technically a secret room. Maybe it is, I don't really know. So, that chick... I guess she's got her own side business. Hey. Being a whore, but also making videos. Good for her. Go get him. No, wait, you go get him. You go and get him. It's good to be an entrepreneur. Yeah, you guys suck. And that's saying something given my abilities at this game. Yeah, there's an elevator here we need to go. Go in the elevator. Thank you. I don't know why going in this made me think of the elevator at the end of Resident Evil 2. The old service elevator rumbled down to the bowels of Jack Lapino's hotel. Well, that's fantastic dialogue there, Max. Oh, right. And yeah, I died here. It was freaking crazy. The cops were doing a full-scale siege next door. More traffic than rush hour. I mean, bleeding bastards running back and forth, Ronnie and Jimbo to throw, and in the middle of all this, there we were. I didn't give a damn, just going with the flow. So what happened? Nothing happened. We got the explosives, dumped the cargo, we were home free. Jesus. I don't know if they're talking about being through the stuff we just went through, or some other event. But you're dead now. Oh, most of them were. Now they're all dead. Ass hats. Oh, there's that gargled broadcast again. How I just love it. I'm trying to look for shit. 
winter storm warning is in effect in the whole tri-state area as both freezing rain and heavy snowfall continue. Many roadways are already closed and people are advised to stay indoors. The severe blizzard has ravaged New York for three days now with no end in sight. We'd been snowed from the start in the Valkyrie case. The forecast said there was plenty more where that had come from. But the snowbound city was on my side. Less chance of innocent bystanders getting caught in the crossfire. Well, that's convenient. But I'll take it. I don't want to have to deal with keeping innocent people alive. Lord knows I had my fill of that in the Tenchu series. Fucking innocent people ruining my score. Getting me spotted, getting enemies coming after me, even though I wasn't after them. Bitches. I mean, they really were, too. Okay, this is the part I actually died on, but I took a lot of damage before getting my first attempt at this. The slow-mo thing is probably really cool if you do it right. I'm still messing with it, trying to figure out how to burn it. Let's fucking die. That's right. Right, so this is kind of annoying. Apparently, you need to use a crowbar or a bat to whack this stuff out of the way. Tried a shotgun shell, it didn't work for some reason. But a bat will work. Alright, let's go. Wait, that's gonna stop me from proceeding? Are you fucking kidding me? God damn it, game. Yo! And that was not subtle, which means that there's a dude in there that already knows we're coming. Which is okay by me. Oh! One of these days I'm going to do a cool slow-mo kill on here. I, well, I want at least one before the game ends. I don't know how long Exhibit this game one is, but... Newspaper. A dead man tied to a chair lay on the boiler room floor. Captain Baseball Bat Boy has an unbeatable track record in superhero death matches. <laughs> but a six pack of root beer gets me every time. The murder weapon was a baseball bat, now lying in a pool of drying blood next to a newspaper folded open on a Captain Baseball Bat Boy comic strip. I'm guessing since I already they have one, I could pick it up. Why are they always set in L.A. or Mexico? They can't even get a tan. If I was a bloodsucker, I'd move to the North Pole. Went this one long night. Yeah, and what would she... I wonder if they're referencing the show Angel. Ah. Fucking die. Right. Ah! Like, is that show set in LA? I don't know if they're referencing a few other vampire shows, but I know that one's set in LA. I feel like there's a health item in here somewhere, but I don't know where it is. I find it. You can also open the microwave door. It's nothing special, you can just open it. You're not seeing that because it's one less thing to show. I'm trying to save video time, even though I've had videos much longer than this. Just go through the door. Chill with the guns. Trust me, you don't want to piss me where they are. Gentlemen, let's do business. Green for green. Tears of green-eyed angels. Amen. Fantastic. However, you will see me play with the folk here. That's all it does. Kind of reminds me of the X-Files game I played last year. Amen. So, I'm going to use a couple health pills because we're going to pick up some more. I did this part a few times. I don't know how many are in there, but enough where if you're full, use at least a couple. If you're low on health. I was not aware of that at the time. 
That's right, I'm breaking up your deal. We will have none of this ruckus when Max Payne is on the case. A lifetime ago, this would have gone down as a narcotics arrest. Well, then you should have called for backup. The transparent cylinders glowed green, full of Valkyr. It was dirty money. So I wonder why people are now suspecting Max Payne and after him and saying he's a wanted criminal. I mean, surely he knows other people. I know he table. said that there are only two people that know he's undercover. One of them being that guy that died. But surely other people would have to know. There's no way. I don't know much about how the police work. But there's no way that only two people would know that he's undercover. I mean, there would be records of what department he's working in. Somewhere. Somebody would be able to figure out that, hey, he's not actually a criminal. He's just undercover. And they would probably call him in to find out what's actually happening. There's health items in here. That's what I was trying to get. That what I should have done is used a couple before picking them up. Because I'm full. But I don't know if I was full before I picked that up or not. <sighs> Get ready for a fight. Two mad dog killers, ready to murder each other. They step into the next room, and I'm thinking, now they're gonna do it. <clears throat> but no. They sit down in front of a TV and solve their differences with the Kung Fu fighting video game. I tell you, kid. I was so depressed, I strangled them both with the video game cables. Oh, Rico, you're so bad. I am, ain't I? Mm, mm. Rico Muerte, big time hustler. Who the hell? It's that cop. Muerte went for his gun. Yeah, that would be much more effective in an actual cutscene. Although I do like how suggestive that one, that third little image of her was. But that's pretty bad. That really needed an actual cutscene. I kind of think this game would be cool if they remade it, but I think they would make it more complicated than it needs to be. And I don't really want that. Just situations like that, I feel like they actually need cutscenes. Some of them don't really bother me, but that one really felt like it needed a cutscene. Although his friend's death got a cutscene at least, so that's something. Somebody's still shooting at me. You dirty rat! I think that's supposed to be called by you killed my, and then I don't know, brother, friend, something like that. Uh, I guess we're too far away from that. Yeah, I think we just killed the prostitute. I don't know why the fuck she's trying to shoot us. I mean, I didn't have anything against the prostitute. I mean, I do now that she was trying to shoot at me, but... I don't think she would have been involved in this otherwise. I think... Max probably would have let her live if she would have just not taken up arms against him. But, like, many a baddie before her in video games, when you go up against the main character, you tend to die. Unless you're playing the Batman Arkham games and then you just get knocked out. Such a pussy. I mean, they try to make Batman seem like this dark character, and then all he does is go around. Yeah, see, I think that's the hooker there. Beating people up, but he doesn't actually kill them. And health items, always nice. Probably, again, should have picked up or used a few beforehand, but oh well. No, 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 no. Let's not do that. See, right there, I should have dealt with this. And then pick those up. Well, use some and then pick those up. Whatever. Alright, let's do this. God damn it. Wasting ammo for starters, which is annoying. Crap. 
I don't really want to turn that cheat on again. I'm not really happy at having to have used it this early in the game. Yeah, apparently that's a boss. My first time I tried running in their guns ablaze, no, do what I did and stay back. Most of them will come to you and it makes this fight a lot easier. I'm not sure what we get by doing that. I guess that's a dude that we talked about earlier, or that he talked about earlier. That Muerta guy. Uh, whatever. So we're at the end of the video, so thank you for watching, and I will see y'all next time.